So the big reason why I wanted to start teaching chair yoga was because, I don't know if you guys know or not, my mom has MS. And so she's in a wheelchair. And so I started doing this because she watches the videos that I tape and she does these at home. So that's why every year I do the, a really big fundraiser, a, a spin fun fundraiser, it's called the Sugar Bowl. And we raise thousands of dollars for MS research. So it's really cool. Unfortunately, her mouth doesn't have MS. That works perfect. <laughs> Hasn't changed one bit, but the rest of her body does. So chair yoga. This is super exciting because this new time moving it up one hour has made a huge difference in people being able to be here and attend. And that makes me so happy because you are all some of my favorite people of all time. Like, I don't really say that to all my classes unless you're in them, but I, really, <laughs> but I really love that you got, like, this group of people from restorative yoga and chair yoga, you guys are like my favorites. So, the point of that is, this should feel good. I want it to feel good for you. So, if there's something you don't want to do, do not do it. If there's something that you want to do, feel free to let me know. If there's injuries that you have, we can work on that specifically. This is a little different than restorative yoga, so it's a little bit more aggressive, but it doesn't have to be, okay? So take it to the level that you want. So sit nice up, sit nice and tall in your chair, roll your shoulder blades onto your back. Hands can be in your lap, hands can be by your side. Close your eyes and just start to slow down your breath. Nice big inhales in through your nose. Nice deep exhales. And then do that again. Nice big inhale. Nice deep exhale. When you inhale, fill up your chest and lungs. When you exhale, press all that air out. Bless you. So all you have to do right now is stay right where you are and breathe. Or cough or sneeze or whatever. Do what you want to do. It's okay. It's foggy out there. It is. Do a few more rounds just like that, all on your own. And then we're gonna start to move together. today every, everything is at your own pace there's no hurry don't do anything you don't want to work your way down add in some shoulders one at a time or both forward and back Just make little circles, nice little pools of water 
go one way for a little while, and then just reverse it and take it the other way. Good. Arms are going to reach up nice and tall, grow as long as you want. And you can make this into a back bend just by folding over the back of your chair. Lift your chest up. Nice. Hands come up nice and tall. And then you're just going to exhale and fold right over. Drop your head. Your arms can be off to the side or in front of you, or they can just be hanging right there. Drop your head. You can roll out your head, make little circles, look left and right. Whatever feels good. When you're ready, hands are going to reach straight out in front of you and then just pull those hands nice and straight up again and back bend it over the back of your chair. Lift up that chest. Awesome. Exhale, fold right back down, however you want to do it. We're going to do that one a couple more times. Inhale, raise it all up, back bend it if you want. Exhale, fold it down any way you want to. Perfect. One more time. Inhale, pull it up. Exhale, bring it down. Nice, everybody. From here, walk your hands straight out in front. If you want to take your feet to the outside of your chair, you can do that. Nice. Just drop your head. Arms can be straight. If you want to have them bent a little bit at the elbow, that's okay too. Walk your hands over to the right. As much or as little as you want. come up to the top and then just walk them over to the left. Nice, everybody. Back up nice and tall one more time. Drop your head. Breathe, everybody. Nice, good. Hands are going to reach straight out in front of you again, and now slowly pull it all the way back up. Nice. Sit up nice and tall. Beautiful. Over to the right. Reach. Now here's where if you have your block, if you need it, grab it in your hand. Bring the floor up to you if you can't get down to the floor. Put that block on any of those different levels. Nice. Really good. So my biggest fear about this class is if it gets, you know, more populated is that we take it too seriously. Please don't let that happen. Okay, everybody, just don't let that happen. <sighs> Come up nice and tall, take your block with you, because we have too much fun in here to make it serious. Reach over. Yep. Doesn't matter what level you go for, as long as it feels all right, that's a good one. Up nice and tall again. Reach. Back bend it if you want. Come up nice and tall again. Bring those arms right down behind your chair. Lean forward and grab the back of that seat. You can drop your head if you want. And then if you want to pull your chest up, you can do that too. Yep. Good. Right hand will hold on to the back of the chair. Reach that left hand straight out in front. You can turn to your side a little bit if you want to look at that side wall. 
Nice. And then switch it out. Left hand goes back, the right hand reaches. Both hands come back to the back of your chair. Again, pull that chest forward and look up. And then let your back curve and drop your head. Hands come back down to the floor. Beautiful. So walk your hands back so those arms line up right next to each of your legs so you look like a frog. Good. So you can drop your head. You can bend your elbows if you want a little bit to get a little bit more. But then press up onto your fingertips and curve your back out and look up. Yup. Exhale, palms go flat, fold. Inhale onto your fingertips, look up, curve out your back. Exhale, flat. Couple more. Inhale, fingertips up. Exhale, flat. We'll do one more. Inhale, fingertips up. Exhale, palms come down flat. Good. Roll up nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Your head comes up last. Sit up nice and tall, bring those feet back in, just like we did before. Arms reach up nice and tall, fingers interlace. Both arms go over to the right, reach. So make sure your right foot is firmly planted into the floor because then your left leg can lift if you want it to. You can point those toes. And Moon always likes this move. That's Moon's move. So feel free to do that if you want. <laughs> reach. Up nice and tall. Left foot goes down. Arms reach over to the left. Put your weight into that left foot so your right leg can lift. Reach. Good. And then you can do the moon. Nice. Bring that. I know, right? Thank you, moon. I've actually never said thank you for that move. Thank you. Yeah. Scoot to the edge of your seat. Back is nice and flat. Chest is lifted. Arms are going to reach up. Just like we did before, interlace them. And then have them come down behind your back and interlace as well. Knuckles can comb right down to your seat. Or if you want to roll your palms over so your hands go flat, you can do that too. Lift up your chest. Chin comes down to your chest and look down. Head comes up and look up. Back to the center, look over to the right. Nice, and then over to the left. Good, everybody. Let those fingers go, and now give yourself some nice big hugs. Switch out those arms, one on top, one on bottom. Open up that chest. These can be as big or as little as you want. Good. Fingers are gonna come around to the front and interlace. Flip those palms toward the mirror. Nice straight arms. Take those arms up into the sky. Beautiful. Look up if that feels okay, and then breathe. Arms come straight down in front of you, and now curve your back out. Lean right into the back of your seat, chin to your chest. That's nice. We like that, right on. I know that's a good one. <laughs> Jen often abuses us, but it's for our own good. At least that's what she tells us. She says it's a gift, not a punishment. Is that what she says? No kidding. Wow. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> She's tough. I don't mess with her. 
Left hand comes down and reaches that right knee. And that other hand comes all the way around. You can grab the same side of your chair or you can take it all the way around. Nice. Lift up that chest, look over that back shoulder. Nice, everybody. Arms come up nice and tall again. Right arm reaches over, grabs that left knee. Same thing with this arm. This arm can stay on the same side of your chair or you can take it all the way over. Back is nice and flat, lift up that chest. Nice, everybody. Back around to the front, arms reach up nice and tall. And now just bring those arms down by your side and raise them up. Up and down, you guys. Make it feel good. It's going to burn on your shoulders a little bit, and that's okay. When those arms get up there, this time have them come up and then have them fold and grab your elbows. Lift up that chest. Nice. So slide these hands down to your wrists. Keep opening up that chest. Nice. I know your shoulders are burning, I know. As long as it doesn't burn when you pee, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Told you we weren't going to make this serious. God help me. <laughs> Sorry, Al. <laughs> have to edit that no, my mom knows I say this stuff. Are you kidding me? So take your hands and slide down a little bit more to your fingertips. Keep opening that chest. Nice. Okay, let those arms come down, all the way down. Roll them out. That was good. The work that you did, not just what I said. And then we're gonna do the same thing. So right arm is gonna fold behind your back. So try to get it parallel to your seat. Galen, come in, come, yes. And then do the same thing. So try to get to those elbows on the other side. If it doesn't happen, just reach to where you can get to, okay? Yep, exactly, chemo. <laughs> so press into your lower back so your chest can lift up. And now we're gonna do the same thing. Slide those fingers down to your wrists. Yeah, Galen, yeah, right there, go. And then keep sliding down, fingers, any way that you wanna hold on to them. Breathe. And then let that go. Oh, shake it out, that's a lot, good. All right, so stay right here at the edge of your seat. You're gonna think about keeping everything nice and flat. This is for your obliques, which are your side abs, basically. Fingertips right down here by your side. Don't curve in, okay? I don't wanna see this. Try to keep it up here and touch one side. Up and over, other side. Yep, back and forth, everybody. If you can't get to the floor, it's okay. You can also put your block there if you want. Yep. So just fold at each side. Back is nice and flat, keep that chest up. Nice, good, very nice. Couple more. Nice. Come back to the center, good. Shake that out. I just lost what we were gonna do. It was good. I was like, oh, that's a good one. We, oh, cat and cow, that's what we're gonna do. So from here, take those hands onto your knees, pull your elbows so your elbows go flat and then pull that chest forward. That's your cow, that's where you inhale and look up. Exhale, press back into your cat, that one where your back goes all the way back into your chair, exhale. 
Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. So this can be as big or as little as you want it to be. Make it feel good for you. Inhale, cow. Nice. Exhale, cat. So do a couple more all on your own. If it feels all right, any variation you need to do, go for it. Do one more round. Inhale in your cow. Exhale to your cat. Nice. Come back up to your nice flat neutral spine. Good. All right, so now let's do some abs. We did a couple warm ups with that. Take one hand, put it on your side, okay? This other hand can be just in your lap, and now drop. Drop. Squeeze. Squeeze. So let's do 100. Okay. How about 10? 98. <laughs> Nine. Eight. Squeeze, seven, six, five, four, good you guys, three, two, one. Nice, switch it out on the other side, same thing. Let's do 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, nice. Three, two, one. Awesome. Hands come right here on the rungs of your seat. Lean back so your shoulder blades touch the top of your chair. But all this is not curved out, okay? Think of making a nice flat board with your back. Heels come down. Use the resistance of your handlebars. Let's do some abs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, go Joe, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bring them up, hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, nice. So I forgot to mention the rules at the beginning of class. <laughs> one, pain is bad, and two, don't fall out of your chair. And they're interchangeable as one and two, whichever one is, okay? Lean back, we're gonna do them again. We'll do 10 more. Hold on to the side rungs of your seat. You're ready, plant those heels. Let's do it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, awesome. Nice, sit up nice and tall. So we've done a lot of upper body, let's do some lower. Take this right heel, plant that heel. Make sure you're rooted into your chair and this left foot is your support. Make sure you have a nice foundation there, okay? Arms come up nice and tall, inhale. Exhale, fold. Nice. If you can't get down to your toes, big deal. Go for your knee. Go for whatever allows you to not slide out of your chair. yourself up that leg, pull that right foot in, switch it out. Make sure you're firmly planted on the right now, left foot goes out, plant that heel, arms come up nice and tall as you inhale, exhale, fold. Nice everybody.
your hands up that leg right there. Pull that foot in. Do some windshield wiper side to side. Make it feel good, as big or as small as you want. And then when we come back to the center, we're just going to do some calves. So feet go nice and flat on the floor, and you're just going to lift up onto your toes. So lift up and squeeze. Squeeze those calf muscles right there. Down, up, squeeze, down, squeeze, up, squeeze, up, squeeze. Good. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, nice. Take your feet just a little bit wider. Fold your chest kind of on top of your leg so your arms can go out to your side. We're gonna do a little bit of back exercise, okay? And all you have to do is take your arms out to the side and squeeze down, up, down, squeeze that back. Yep, beautiful. Eight, seven, it can be as big or as little as you want. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice, good. Roll up. All right, so we're gonna do some triceps, which is also good for this area right here, okay? And it's really simple. You never wanna use weights on this one. It's three different positions, and it's good for men and women. The three different positions are, palm of your hand presses back. So you roll this skin over. You press off to the side. Then you go to the center, same thing. And then you go up tall, same thing. So it's three, okay? So it's one, two, three. And you're gonna feel your shoulder blade rotating a little bit, that's good. One, two, three. Let's do one more round. One, two, yup, three. Good. So if you have that, what do you call, uh, I actually call them like bird, bird flaps, whatever those are, whatever that area is, this helps with that, okay? So one, Two bat wings, that's what I call it. Three. One. Yep, pain is bad. Don't do it if it hurts. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. One more round. Good. One. Yes. Two. Three. Good. All right, so now we gotta just do a little biceps. Arms come down to your side. You can do a workout with no weights as long as you squeeze when you do it, okay? So you don't even need to do weights. If you're out traveling or something and you wanna do some chair yoga, you can work out without weights. Or if you wanna grab somebody's water or their luggage, whatever. So hands go by your side. What we're gonna do, let's do 20, why not? 20, 19, squeeze, 17, 16, squeeze, 14, 13, 12, 11, good you guys, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, squeeze, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, good, shake it out, roll, roll that out, back to our legs, this right leg, and by right I mean left, <laughs> intersect that left uh, ankle right there at your right knee. So if your leg is up here on a little bit of an angle, that's okay. Little by little, we're going to work on getting it down to be parallel with the floor, okay? So if you're not there, that's okay. A nice way you can start to get there is stack your arms on top and give it a little bit of pressure to let it open up. Just breathe. So my new people, what do we think thus far? Do we like it? Like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, ha I'm happy to have you here, I like it. Yeah, 
And I like it because you can use it on a plane or while you're on a road trip at your office. You know, you don't need anything but you and a chair. It's really good. So from here, your hands are going to go on the inside and outside of your leg. Put it right down by your leg and slide those fingers down as far as you can go, but don't force it. Breathe. Still nice big inhales and exhales. Your exhale is what's going to loosen it up for you a little bit more if it's going to. hands up that leg right there. Nice work everybody. Help that one down and then help this one up. Same thing on the other side. So see if you can get it parallel to the floor. Move around if you need to. Stack those arms on top of each other if you want a little bit of pressure to press down. <laughs> or make that face of like... Argh. Breathe. Same thing we just did. Both hands go on either side of that leg. Exhale as you come down. One side is always going to be a little bit more tighter or a little bit more flexible than the other. That's just how it is. It's okay. Breathe. slowly come up nice put that foot back down on the floor slide back into your seat let's do our hip opener so we'll start with kind of like an introduction to it take your heels and put them on the inside of your chair legs right there so your knees open to either side lean back into your seat and this is great if you want to stay just like this that's plenty if you want to add a little bit more both hands go on the inside of your knees and you can just add a little bit of pressure. shift over to this right side just a tad, just a little. Then this right leg is going to go straight out to your side. Plant that heel. Good. Yep, if you need to shift over a little bit more so it feels okay, do it. Always go for what feels good for you. Arms are going to reach up nice and tall. You're going to face that right foot and you're going to fold. <sighs> Yep, use your towel, that's great. If you need to use your towel, do that. That's an awesome idea. Just breathe and fold. Walk your hands up that leg. Pull this right leg in. So just stay where you are, don't shift over yet. Left hand is gonna grab this left part of your seat, the rung right there. This hand will grab your ankle, or you can grab your toes, or your heel, whatever you like, and then slowly pull this leg back toward you. Uh-huh, right? This is one of my favorites. You can pull it as much or as little as you want. Breathe.
when you're ready, put that foot back down on the floor. Hook it underneath your chair leg on that side. Shift over a little bit to the left. Find where it feels good. Take that left leg straight out, plant that heel. So remember everybody, everything's always optional. Everything does not have to be something that you do. No way. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Breathe. You, you, you feel it over there and it's good right on yeah just because we're doing something like right now like we're reaching our toes and stretching our leg you absolutely feel it in other places which is awesome that makes me happy I'm glad you feel it walk yourself up that leg yeah the best no, no pull this one in the best known secret about yoga is it's supposed to feel good like you want it to feel good, it's stretching. So grab that ankle, hand comes on the side here, and then pull that leg back. I know that there's different types of yoga, some where you really strain power yoga, some where you really go for it. I get that. It's never been my favorite. <laughs> I like to feel good and just gently stretch and work on stuff that way. shift back to your center and now we're gonna do our hip opener so if you have your block you have options coming your way first option both feet can come right down on the floor soles of the feet touch just like that next option take your block any of those different levels that you want to put it and you can put your feet on that block right there next option you can bring those feet right up into your chair and they're all good one is not better than the other. They're just different ones to do the same thing. Find what you like. Soles of the feet touch. And then just breathe. You are so welcome. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. No, I'll do it. No, yeah, I'll always put it back. No worries. Thanks. Okay, what is her name? Deanna. Deanna? Okay, oh, that's good that that's on video. That's great. <laughs> there are some people that I, I'm supposed to know their names by now, so you can't go back. And it, I always fail at it epically when I try, so Deanna, Deanna, Deanna. I'll try. Keep breathing. I think the the worst time I I'm just trying to think of how my epic fails have gone. My worst one was I was trying to be clever and find out someone's name. I'm like, how do you pronounce your name again? And she was like, Sue. <laughs> I was like, never mind. It's not what I thought. <laughs> I just sue. Oh, that's a tricky one. That's a tricky one. Exposed. Busted. Total. When you're ready, take one foot down. No big deal if you want to help it along. Take that other foot down. Scoot up to the edge of your seat. Do a little bit of a reset. You can do one at a time or both, side to side. Both hands now will hold on to the rungs again. Just take that right leg straight out in front and just hold it. You can point and flex your toes, roll out your ankle. Yep. 
and then both hands will grab that knee and pull that knee into your chest. Try to stay sitting up nice and tall. If you curve out a little bit, you might as well go forward and lean all the way back. It's better than having that little curve. But if you can keep it straight up, that's awesome. Again, you can point and flex your toes, roll out that ankle. And then put that foot down. Hands go on the side, take that left leg straight out. Back is nice and flat, lift that chest up, point and flex your toes, roll out your ankle. And then pull that left knee into your chest. Nice, everybody. Yep, that's good. It's just the floor. It's just the floor, I'm sure. <laughs> Point, put that foot down. So we're going to do chair, and you can do chair pose in your chair, or you can pull it up out. So if you want to do chair pose in your chair, just bring your big toes to touch, your knees touch a little bit, and then just sweep those arms up nice and tall. So that's how you can do it in your seat. If you want to do chair pose out of your chair, lift up. Have a seat, arms come down, inhale, lift it up. You can come up or stay seated. Exhale, arms come down, inhale up, arms come down. This time when we inhale up, come all the way up to standing right out of your chair and reach up, except for you, Joe. Back bend it if you want, and then bring those arms right down by your side. Sweet. Roll out your neck and shoulders. We have some time. We're going to do a little bit of standing oh, stuff. So walk to the back of your chair. Joey, I'm going to get you that other chair from Deanna. Joey, can you physically walk the bar? Yeah, absolutely. So from here, at the back of your chair, you're just going to start to walk back. And you're going to fold. Get your back nice and flat. Make a big letter L. Let your head go. Let your chest melt in between your arms. And then breathe. Basically, yeah. Basically, downward dog. Here, if you want to let your hands come all the way down to the floor and drop your head and fold yourself in, you can do that, or you can keep holding on to the back of your chair. Roll up nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Bring that head up last. Arms will reach up nice and tall. Beautiful. Both arms go to the right. Nice. Up nice and tall over to the left. Up nice and tall again. Hands go nice and flat. Fold, touch the back of your chair. Exhale. If you want to let your hands go again, back down to the floor and fold, go for it. Roll it up nice and slow. Arms will come up nice and tall. We'll do that whole thing one more time. Reach. Back bend it if you want. Always go for it. And then both arms go to the right. Over to the left. <coughs> Up nice and tall, palms face the mirror, fold back in your chair. <sighs> Breathe. If you want to drop it down one more time, go for it. <clears throat> and then one more time, roll it up. 
when you get up here this time, either pull that chair back to you or walk up to your chair, grab your handlebars right in between. And you're just gonna lean a little bit forward and then you're just gonna lift that right leg off the ground. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice, other side. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Walk up right to the edge of your seat right there at the back and you're just gonna fold over. Hands are gonna grab the front of your chair and then just fold over your chair. You can bend those elbows if you want. Press your back nice and flat, arms go straight, and look forward. Awesome. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press up. Try to make your legs really nice and straight, you'll feel them. Exhale, fold, bend those elbows. One more time. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, nice. Press yourself back up, and now we're gonna do tree. So there's options for tree, everybody. And you got a chair here, so feel free to use it, okay? Some options. You can be behind your chair the whole time and hold on right here, or you can step to the side. So options for tree, you can take your heel and make a kickstand right on your ankle. You can take that same foot and put it underneath your knee. You can take that foot and put it above your knee. Or what Al came up with is you can take that foot and put it right on your chair. So they're all different options to do the same thing. You, what, the one thing you can't do is put that foot on your knee. It just doesn't feel good and you're kind of pressing against your own foundation, so don't do that. So find what you like. Kickstand, above or below your knee, on your chair. Whenever you find where you want to be, you can keep holding on with one hand or if it's in front of you with both. If you want, you can try to lift up one arm. If you're feeling brave, you can try both arms. And if you wobble, just grab your chair. Nice, everybody. Go. This is a good way to practice. Like, if you wobble or you can't hold on to it, you're doing it right. Your body's just trying to figure it out. It's perfect. Uh, and sometimes I can't hold on to it either, and it's all right. <laughs> when you're ready. Bring your hands down to your heart, and then step out of it. Nice. Lift up onto one heel, and then the other, bend your toes, all that good stuff. And then same thing on the other side. Whatever you did on that side, try to go for it again on this side. Kickstand, above or below your knee, on your seat, whatever you like. Always take your time, because it does no good to rush or compare yourself to somebody else, so never do either of those. Breathe right on. Good. Yep. Good. Good, Mayor. You saved it. Hey, that's all that matters. And see if you fall out of it, Mayor. Just make it look like you did it on purpose. That looks good. Yep, me too. Yeah, doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly. When you're ready, do bend your knees and all that stuff again, and then have a seat. Really nice, everybody. Little balance. Balance is good as we get older, because that's you know part of the things that we need to remember. It's balance and mobility, so. Good, awesome. Let's just do, what time is it? We're gonna do it, we're gonna do at least warrior one. So, warrior one, you guys. Shift one cheek off your seat. So shift over to the side. So you got left cheek on your seat, right cheek is off. If you have your block, put your block down there if you need it. Otherwise, that knee's coming down to the floor or on your block. Make sure you're still having the left side of you firmly in your chair. Yep, perfect. 
And those blocks can go on those different levels too. It doesn't have to be on the flattest one. Find how it works for you. Good. Arms come up nice and tall. And you can even lean back. Nice. Good. Hands come down to your heart. And now you're going to twist onto the outside of this leg. So twist. Yes. Good, everybody. Back to the center. Awesome. Let that go. Good. You want to do warrior two? Let's do it. Arms come up nice and tall. Remember, be firmly planted in this. Open to the side and look at that wall on the side. Right on. Breathe. Arms come up nice and tall. Let's do it to the side too. Twist. Open to that side. Arms come up nice and tall. Bring them down. Nice. Back up into your seat. Take your block with you. Other cheek. With all due respect in yoga class, you guys are badass. <laughs> when you're ready, take that block down. Take that knee down to that block if you want that. Or knee comes down onto the floor. Make sure you're firmly planted into your seat on the right. Arms come up. Or your one. Breathe. Nice. Hands come down to your heart, and then twist to this side. Awesome. Joe, you know you can do whatever you want. You're always good with me, boss. Whatever you want. I'm still working for my toes. You're still what? I'm still working for my toes. <laughs> well, <laughs> I hope you find them. Yeah. <laughs> Back up to the center. Arms reach up nice and tall. Warrior one to that, or warrior two to this side. Open it up, face that wall. Take your time. This is our final thing, everybody. Arms come up nice and tall. And then twist to this wall, warrior two. Arms come back up nice and tall. Bring those arms down, and then slide back into your chair. Right on. So Shavasana in your chair can take many different forms. One, you can like be nice and flat with your back. You can bring your chin down. You can slouch into your chair, plant your heels. If you're up here, you can bring your hands down and put your head down. So whatever you want your Shavasana to be right now, go ahead and find it. Just like we are normally in restorative yoga or whatever we do, we'll be here for just a couple of minutes. And then I'll bring us back and we'll finish class together. So just enjoy your Shavasana right now and breathe.
staying right there in your Shavasana. Take a nice big inhale. Nice deep exhale. Gently roll your head side to side, sweeping your chin to each shoulder. However you want to do it, you can wiggle out your fingers and wiggle out your toes. Arms will reach above your head, fingertips touch, try to reach that back wall. And then toes come to touch in front of you, reach those mirrors. Do that nice deep stretch right from your center. And then as you pull everything down, bring your hands right down to your heart in prayer. And we'll do one final inhale and exhale together. Inhale. Exhale. I truly believe we only keep what we have by giving it away, and we all have so much. And by that, I mean a kind word, patience, a second chance. If you give any of that away, you will get it back, and you will get it back today. With that, I take my forehead and I bow it to my fingertips. The light in me honors the light in all of you. Namaste. Namaste. I will always gladly put your chairs back for you if you don't want to, and I hopefully will see you next uh, Thursday at 1015. Tell people, bring people, and the most important thing to know is I truly love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for giving that to me. Enjoy the rest of your day. I love you the most. <laughs>